everyone, welcome to Cooking with Al. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate freckle slice. Everyone needs easy one bowl slice at their fingertips um, at any time and this is perfect for kids, adults, everyone loves it. It uses the good old chocolate freckle. Yep, milk chocolate with the little crunchy freckles on top. So simple, yet so awesome. So this recipe literally gets dumped into your mixing bowl in your stand mixer, or you can use a hand mixer. And then the chocolate freckles then just get placed on top of the slice after it comes out of the oven. So it does not, the freckles don't go in the oven. I'm also going to show you how I line my baking pan for this particular slice as well. It's always a handy tip to know how you'd line uh, your baking tin for different purposes. Sometimes I just dump the baking paper in, sometimes I scrunch it. This one I'm going to layer two in what they call a sling so that I can pull it out when I am ready to pop it in my storage container or serve it to friends. So let's get cooking. Okay, so first up, this is how we do a sling. So I just sort of measure out the um, baking paper and then this one's going to go horizontally and I fold it over and lay it in, push it into the corners and then fold it over at the sides. Then we're going to do the same thing in the other direction. So measure it out so that there's overhanging. Push it into the edges, into the corners, just with your nail and tuck it over. I've sometimes used bulldog clips just to hold the paper in place while I'm spreading out the mixture. And then of course, I take the bulldog clips off once I put it into the oven. There you go, just makes it a bit sturdier. Place your chocolate chips into a microwave safe bowl. Using the melt setting of your microwave, melt the chocolate chips. Stop halfway through and give the chocolate chips a good stir. Place the chocolate back into the microwave to finish off the melt cycle until it's a runny consistency. Don't worry if there's a few chocolate chips at the end of the melt setting. The residual heat will continue to melt those little bits. You definitely don't want to overheat your chocolate. This is called burning and it will seize and you'll have to start again. This smooth consistency of the chocolate is exactly what you're going for. Add the softened butter and the sugar to your stand mixer or a bowl and use your hand mixer. Heat the butter and the sugar on high until it's well combined. You can stop the mixer and scrape down the bowl as many times as you need it. Now go ahead and add your cooled melted chocolate. Mix it in high until it's all combined. Now add your flour in two batches and mix well between each batch. Scrape all the mixture off the paddle or the beaters. The mixture is quite stiff, so add the mixture in dollops into your baking tray. Then using a dessert spoon or an offset spatula, Spread the mixture out over the base of the baking tin. Dip the spoon or offset spatula into a bowl of water. This will help you maneuver the stiff batter over the whole base of the baking tin. Don't worry, you will get there. It just takes a little patience. Place the baking tin into the preheated oven. Now that the slice is just out of the oven and still hot, arrange the freckles on the top of the hot slice. I prefer slightly larger slices, so I arrange mine in a four by six pattern. Gently press the chocolate freckles into the soft slice. 
it's important to do it at this stage because the chocolate slice will harden as it cools. Using a small sharp knife, I like to cut my slice while still in the tin. If you wait till it hardens, sometimes it's a bit too crumbly to cut without falling apart. Okay, so it's taste test time. I'm just gonna take this corner piece out. It's all nice and cool. That's what it looks like. If you want a darker slice, you can use dark chocolate, which I have done before as well, but this is milk chocolate. That's really good. The slice itself is quite, it's a bit like a shortbread. It's very buttery and nice and soft. Has a little bit of a chewy texture. That is really good. Anyway, it's super simple. Five ingredients, all comes together in one pan with good old freckles. So I really hope you give this one a go and I really hope you enjoy.